Welcome to Chapter 3, Mission 5 of Under Falling Skies Campaign. What's up everybody, welcome to the life of a board gamer. My name is Daniel and today we are going to play a Mission 5 of our little campaign, Under Falling Skies. This is a Chapter 3, so new things are uh, happening, new things are revealing and i will show you that in a second uh but i want to thank my patreons so far they picked really interesting combinations and this one is really really interesting i can't wait to see how it plays out and it is going to be a toughie so yeah thank you my patreons also if you want to become a patreon do check out uh, there is a link in the description down below and you can decide in a future games what we are going to play maybe uh, what missions or something or even what games do you want me to play for you and maybe we can even do it live or something like that it's really up to you you choose what you want to see on my channel so yeah let's switch on the other side yes we are here okay so there is a lot of new things going on with this mission 5 uh, as you can see we have some new comic style thingy so basically they, they like operating on an alien and then this guy says that they are presenting this video to somebody and thus by removing the implant we turned our enemy into our friend and now we are friends with aliens that's interesting so there is some new stuff going on let me just move this aside so uh, of course obviously uh, the patrons did not saw that but as soon as i wrote that there is an alien as a playable character for this mission they they they, they picked it they they really didn't uh, bother picking anything else it was unanimous uh, other things i had to roll for because there were some like um, some ties so i decided that we are going to defend beijing and we are going to play the mission saboteur and we have an alien with us so alien says when respawning ships, skip one of them so it will not be respawned until the next round. Not so cool ability as you would think so, and as you would expect maybe, but yeah, we are going to have to go with it. And uh, the thing is, we are playing the mission called Saboteur. Saboteur basically means that uh, we have a stack, stack of uh, tiles that are numbered 1 to 5 and I already shuffled them but I guess I will have to shuffle them again. So we have a stack of tiles from 1 to 5, we are going to flip them over, we are going to shuffle them around and this is 2, yeah I know now that. So and we are just going to put them on one big stack and if I reveal number 1 for example uh, when, it, when, uh, when it's the end of the dice phase, when I put all my dice I reveal one of these and that row gets sabotaged which means that all dice are uh, calculated as one less and if uh, un some unfortunate way I have a dice in an AA gun position that then those ships will s swoop down one space or two spaces even one space down they will sp swoop uh, one space down but they will not activate any of those things that they can activate they will just be closer to my city so basically this game turned out right now to be super super complex uh, for one more reason uh, so this saboteur mission is pretty hard. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to win this one But yeah, new things is new thing is these two tiles. These two tiles are new. They are they have some little differences For example, you can see some gates of sorts over here and here and over here over here over here over here These are like teleport spaces, which means let's say for example, I will just take this orange one Let's say for example that this ship lands on this space he automatically blinks over here uh, the same goes if he is over here he blinks over here automatically so you push him one space back which is okay which is cool so i can maybe watch for these ships to skip over here so i can skip them up there stuff like that so and basically there are four different gates there there is the pink one the dark blue the light blue and the light pink color and those are the gates and also as you can see there are some nasty new there is no no there is now no free space each time mothership goes down something bad happens 
So this one means that all the ships that are not uh, in the mothership space, they all descend two spaces down, one space, two spaces, one space, and these are all the usual things. Now I can now I have to even spawn two white ships in one turn, which is ridiculous, ridiculous. But uh, as in the previous two missions, we have some help, but not from one character, but two. Since now, from, uh, since till now, you saw four characters. Two of them show up, and I decided that these these will not decide be decided by patrons. It would be just too much confusion, <coughs> and that, and so I decided I want to do that. And I decided that we are going to play with the Clinton Harper Ace Pilot and Peter Bernstein Chief Engineer. Basically, pilot can shut down one enemy ship on any space, so I can be, see any alien anywhere. I can shoot it down with the Clinton and. Uh, Chief Engineer Peter Bernstein says during the room phase I gain two energy and can move adva and uh, may advance the excavator four spaces for zero energy but that uh, move of excavator must be the only move of the excavator that turn so I can't uh, like move it with the dice and then use him so it has to be either dice or him and the last thing we are defending Beijing Beijing has a special ability one gray dice is not rolled it is actually placed on a board depending what you roll on the other two dice. So for example, let's say I roll this and let's say I put it like, I don't know, so. For example, this is how the turn ended. I have to put this dice either like a six or like a two. So that's that. That's what the Beijing does. So yeah, with that being said, I will just keep it uh, here with the robots. Uh, oh yeah, we have some new things also. These are now, we have vertical rooms. As you can see, these two are connected. So what means, because you know by the rules, you can't have two dice in one row. That means that we need to use a robot and a regular dice to activate these spaces. So robots will be pretty important because these two spaces are insanely good for the research. And as you can see now on the research track, there's lots of new things in, in this mission five. So I have to go through all this, I'm sorry. So as you can see now, we have two tens at the end, not one eleven, but we need to go over two tens to win. So that's going to be a really tough one, really tough one. So yeah, that has already been placed. Yeah. Okay. So that is that. Uh, let's let's begin. It was the intro of like seven minutes. Yeah, I apologize. I can't cut anything out because there's like a lot of new things. Uh, showed up so yeah let's just start and see how it goes okay so we have a six a four a four and a two so what i learned right now is that i really really want i really want those ships to stay away now they, they are going to come out like crazy because of the mothership and everything so i need to like shut them down each turn if possible but still uh still have the enough for the research because i really need to do research now these are all lower numbers now a little bit lower numbers so i can speed up through this pretty quickly but as you come to the end it's getting pretty difficult so oh yeah i got i got some messages yeah it's some giveaway that's on my channel right now so go check it out okay so what we are going to do here is one two three four five six i really want to excavate as much as i can four five yeah i would and i would have to spend six on it yeah that's and something is some something are going to be some things are going to be blocked so i have to think about that Okay, I will produce four energy. I really need four energy. So one, two, three, four. This guy is on a five to get some damage, but I really don't care much about that. And I really need to produce a robot level six. You know, I really need it because I want to activate all these nice rooms with these robots. And uh, I need to reroll these two because I put white and five and a three. So this gray one has to be either three or five. So I'll just put it here and uh, decide once I once I know what I want to do. So what do I want to do? I want to do a research. I definitely want to do some research. But hmm, one, two, 
three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I forgot to excavate. Oh boy. So I can't actually, I can't actually produce a robot this turn. Or I can. Hmm. No, I can't produce a robot this turn. It's not good for me to produce it this turn. So I'm just gonna move this one over here. I'm gonna excavate all the way up here. So I would, I could go all the way here, but I don't want to because the saboteur says this dice is minus one. So I would have to dig minus one. But if I, uh, if I overpaid, then it's okay. So I placed six, even though there's there's five spaces to it. So nothing will happen. I can, I can excavate all the way up there. But I forgot to move this guy six spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six and he blinks all the way up here see what i'm telling you it's pretty crazy it's insane he, he's now like eight spaces or, or nine spaces down that that's just insane that's just insane how can i win this one how tell me somebody please okay so i will use this four i will use this grade to put this four over here so one two three four spaces down and uh, I will put oh man I will put this five over here to produce a robot level three that's really that does nothing for me but it's for free so you know one two three four five and then I have to reroll this one it's a six of course it's a six and it needs to go in this oh man this was a rookie mistake. So I'm gonna put it here and this guy will move one, two, three, four, five. And he's already here to kill me. One, two, three, four, five spaces down. This, this is just insane. Oh I am terrified how I'm going to get how I'm going to be destroyed by by this mission. So yeah. Uh, let's uh, the dice phase is over let's see what uh, room is sabotaged so level three so one two three this one is sabotaged so this dice is actually a four which means it produces a robot level two i will start with that so a robot let's put it here so we know what's up a robot level two what can we do with a robot level two you know what i'm not going to activate that one first it just means that it is going to produce a less interesting robot but i'm going to to first uh, activate this one for four energy to boost myself all the way up to seven and then i'm going to spend one energy to create three three research and move one space up because this is minus one space and then i'm going to produce a robot level two and i'm just going to put it here to produce free energy for me each turn that's the best I can think of what he can do and then this one does nothing and then I spend one energy to excavate all the way up here and that is it that's my turn and now the mother ship moves one space and all ships move two spaces down which is absolutely insane two spaces down and they uh, I think they don't activate the spaces that they sit on so for example this one would not activate mothership going down but i just have to check it out uh, but otherwise the ship do not trigger the effects of the spaces they land on so yeah we are safe so they don't activate this stuff so one two then this guy goes here then it's one two nothing happens one two this guy goes here okay yeah this is insane this is certified insane I i'm I don't know what what how can I how can I survive this tell me how and, and I will do it tell, just tell me how this is just this is I don't know it's beyond me how hard this mission is so I'm going I guess I'm gonna just have to shoot down one enemy or, or try to kill these guys off somehow I don't know how one two three four and one or this one or this guy would move it's insane oh boy i think i'm going to have to use clint uh pretty i don't have any ships to respawn so nothing happens i think i'm going to have to use oh i don't roll one dice so wait all, all over again so one dice is not rolled okay a three a two a three a two 
So these are not good numbers. By any means, these are not good numbers because I really want to get this guy and I really need one over here. And how can I do that? There's no way I can do that. But I can put two in here. And then two in here. Oh, I'm thinking about, about this room to transfer some, some points into this room over here and then I can blast them off into space. But for that to happen, I need a bigger numbers. These numbers are not good. These are like really lame numbers right now. So I'm just gonna put a three over here and no ships move. So I can reroll all my dice because this will give me three research to get over here. And uh, let's see if we get some better dice. Okay, five is good, four is uh, even better. Four is even better. So I'm gonna put four over here. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I need a six and this is minus two. So basically I need another four over here or bigger. And I can do that because I can place this one, but let's just see what happens if we produce a robot level five. Let's say level five robot. And then we reroll this one and see what happens. Okay, so so I'm going to need two, four, I'm going to need six energy, I only have five, and I didn't excavate, I didn't put anything for the excavation, which is, uh, which is not good. I really need to excavate more. So, I need one for this space, or to destroy this ship. I really don't want this ship to hit me. I really don't want that ship to hit me for any reasons. So... What I'm going to do is, I'm going to place this five over here. Oh yeah, this will produce some energy for me, so we are cool. So I'm gonna put this five here, not, nothing happens. I will reroll this one to see what I get. Another five, which is really nice. I like that, I like that. But those guys will destroy me completely. So another five over here. So it's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, slot. Okay, and then I need to put this one either four uh, or five because I need to honor the great things. One, two, three. I'm going to put it like a four. Yeah, man. Oh boy. So one, two, three, four. No, I'm gonna put it as five. But you know what? I'm going to put this one over here. To excavate so I can have this or just let all these guys hit me one turn this is really complicated right now it's really really complicated okay so I'm gonna put that five here and then I'm going to put one two three four five yeah okay so I'm gonna use Clint Harper right now shoot down one enemy ship and any on any space so once I use him he's gone and I'm gonna shoot this guy I really don't want him to hit me for whatever reasons and uh, and I'm going to put the five over here. I know I'm doing stupid things because now I will excavate and then I will move one space down because of the mothership. But that's the best thing I can think of right now. That's the best thing I can do right now. Otherwise, I would have to move back one and lose a robot, which is really not that bad right now. But I could use yeah this is not plus one yeah this is not helping me at all this game this game is really trying to to hurt me bad okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this five over here i'm not going to excavate i'm going to uh lose on it and i put the five over here so one two three four five spaces down this guy had to move okay that is that okay so now Whew. Let's see which of the rooms get sabotaged. Room level four, one, two, three, row level four. So this is a four. This is a minus one space. So that's really nothing that matters because that's still eight minus two, that's still six. So I will be destroying these two guys. So I will not lose any sleep over it. 
and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to distribute this on all the other dice even though that's a stupid move right now but what 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 can I do so to the two energy and I will make this I will make this a four I will make this a six so that's two I still have three left so I'll just put this on a six and this one on a six just because I can and this one is gone and then I will produce two energy with this robot so that's two energy for me and then I will spend two energy to do a research level four so a three and one is four and then I'm going to produce a robot level six for two energy and I'm going to put it on this research space where it's one energy but minus one yeah that sounds good but it could be better <laughs> So yeah, what I'm going to do, I will not have that much energy next turn, so, but the turns after that I just might have like a lot of energy, yeah, I'm gonna put it on a minus one, I'm gonna risk it, so, and then I will spend, oh, I don't have two energy to activate these guys, oh boy, that's not good, how did I, how did I not accommodate for that? Two, four, six, yeah, eight energy. I need eight energy for that. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little backtrack. Uh, I'm not going to create this robot. This robot is unfortunately gone, and I will spend those two energy to kill off these ships. Otherwise, it would not be good for me. So, yeah, this was a bad turn, all in all. And uh, this guy moves, and then the excavator goes one space down. Yeah, this was a pretty bad move for me, but what can you do? You can't always be a winner, right? So, yeah, some more messages. Okay. Uh, yeah, mothership descended. Oh, I need to spawn your ships. So this one spawns here, this one spawns here, and this one spawns over here. So I'm keeping alien for the very last turn when the mothership is very near. Then I'm going to use it. And I'm probably going to excavate with my engineer this turn, so it will be one, two, three, four spaces, which is really cool. So I'm going to probably do that. Oh, I don't roll one gray dice. I completely forget about it. It's Beijing. It helps you. So use it. Okay, so we have a five, a four, a five, and a one. Let's see what can we do with those dice. So we decided that excavation is not an option. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this five over here. So let me just check out one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, six would be better, but okay. I'm going to put this five over here. One, two, three, four, five. Just so, just so I can produce uh, some energy and then I will invest in more energy next turn so I will produce three energy then I will have so I will have four energy by the end of this turn and I need to use that energy actually five when this produces one I want to remove it so I really want to have it at my disposal when it happens so what I'm going to do right now one two three four yeah this is this is not looking good for me so I'm just gonna put five over here so I can have a two a four energy I think I, I think I can pull this one off if the dice will be on my side one two three four five I can destroy some ships and a six and a five that's what I was aiming for a six and a five uh, do this room room still stay minus one? I never checked so I played like this room was completely okay At the end of the draw the top token number shows which column is sabotaged this round Okay, so it's just for that round. It is just that round that it's sabotaged I'm just gonna keep him there so I know which are the possibilities to come out and hurt me so yeah and now I have a six and a five and that's not good one two three four five six 
So I can put six over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Because I really don't need this one as a big number. I really want it like a one or four maybe. But I can't put, yeah, one or a four. One or four. One or four. Four would be better. It's a six. Of course it's a six. My God. One, two, three, four, five, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the five is going over there and I'm going to probably create. So if I put a six in this column and I need to, this one hits me and I can't avoid it in any way or shape possible. This is just insane how hard this game became. So I'm gonna put this six here and maybe produce a robot level four so one two three four five players i got one damage and then i can put this on a six or a five one two three four yeah i'm gonna put it on five just so i can slam him over here and maybe move him one space down and try to kill the next kill him next turn so we're going to put this five over here one two three four five slide okay that is that i played all my dice the Level 2 is sabotaged, of course it is, why it wouldn't be, so yeah, okay, I'm going to uh, gain 2 energy, I forgot to gain 2 energy from this guy, and I may advance my excavator 4 spaces for 0 energy, so 1, 2, 3, 4 spaces, now I can destroy these alien ships with just 1 dice, which is very helpful, and uh, that is the only time I move this guy, so yeah, that's that. So I'm going to produce a three energy, one, two, three energy, and then I'm going to spend two energy to do level four research because it's minus one because of the sabotage. But four is just enough, just what I needed. That's why I put the five. If this room gets sabotaged, I will still be able to do it, and then I will produce a robot level four which i will put where i will put him on a research task and he immediately fails the research task which is terrible so it would be terrible to put level four over there but i can't put him over here he will spend a lot of energy but yeah what else uh do these active do these uh sabotage rules uh, count for the robot too because then this robot is zero and he can't produce any energy if the column has a worker die okay so the number shows worker dice uh, can't be increased by any means so they can be just oh i increased this dice and i couldn't because the room was sabotaged it was a little bit of cheat on me but i had already enough so i didn't really cheat cheat the game Okay, an excavator die in the sabotage call or move the excavator. So it doesn't tell anything about the robots, so I guess the robots are unaffected by that. At the end of dice phase, do the top token is full. The worker dies. No, just so it does not affect these guys, so I'm just going to use it for one energy and discard it. And then I'm going to. Do I really want to spend. Yeah, spend two energy, create a really huge blast and destroy these two guys because they are gone and one dice is not rolled of course and then mothership moves one space down and then this guy moves one space down and this guy moves one space down which means that i have to put one over here to keep this guy in place otherwise we are gone so one two three four five yeah okay oh so i have to on your ships i com completely forgot how to play this game after so many plays that's really weird so let's start we have now opened some better ships to attack stuff like that so yeah without thinking this one is going over here so this is a zero movement for this guy so yeah one two three four five okay I need to put five in this column so I can destroy this guy over here. Or a two, but two, I have no use of two. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh man, so close. If I could only excavate all the way up to here, but that would mean I have to put a six there. And this guy goes one, two, three, four, five, six. So he just missed this space, which is really not good. So I'm going to just produce a robot level five. 
that that I think that's a good decision. So yeah, I use this guy, so he's gone. I completely forgot to remove it. One, two, three, four, five spaces down. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, four is currently the highest number. Yeah, then, but then I would need a six, so I'm just gonna put six over here. I know the room is not going to get sabotaged or anything, but still. Or, 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 what can I do with this guy? So there is four and one is five. So I can put six over here and for one energy research two times, which is really good. And I need to produce some energy. Okay, so, oh no, no, I can't put it here. I already have one over here. So yeah, this is not looking good at all so i am going to put a five so one two three four five yeah i'm going to put five over here to excavate one two three four five and then i have to reroll this guy oops number five so i can maybe produce a robot or energy so i will need three energy and i have three energy that's good that's all I need right now, and I will need four energy, or otherwise I could not excavate this turn. And if I excavate all the way up here, yeah, I messed up a little bit, so I will not be able to do anything. I will, I will not do research, I think, or I will not create a robot, something, because I need to excavate and I need to destroy these ships right now. That are all. Yeah, I can't excavate all the way here. No. Oh, I'm doing so much mistakes. This is unbelievable. One, two, three, four, five. And I need this to be a six and it's a five. Oh boy. So I'm going to put this five in this room just so I can do this. One, two, three, four, five. And then this guy blinks over here. So I just put him like a little bit, little bit behind. And then this five. I, I played a terrible terrible turn this time so I need I, I can only use three energy I guess I will just do a research and not create a robot what can you do this was a terrible move on my part so if this was a six it would be a really great move because I would destroy this guy also but unfortunately it's a terrible terrible move so i'm just gonna put it over here and maybe produce a robot level three maybe i need it for something who knows so uh this one goes five one two three four five he doesn't go anywhere because the ship is blocking him and level one column one is sabotaged so this is a robot level four and i definitely don't want a robot level four so i guess i'm just gonna skip that one and uh yeah let's uh, do our thing so first i'm going to spend one energy to excavate because i really really want to excavate i really want to unlock lots of rooms and i forgot to put anything to destroy these guys oh man i am i am such an idiot it's unbelievable so this one does nothing this one does nothing and I will spend two energy to produce research level four. Okay, so I will spend two energy to make this robot research level four and skip one space ahead. This is going to be a tough one. This is going to be a really, really tough situation right now, but I think I got it. I think I can save it next turn probably and uh, do i create a robot level three for some reason to produce energy maybe yeah i'm just gonna put it over here to produce energy for me and then i will not create a robot level five because i don't have energy with me yeah this was a terrible move on my part so mothership moves one space down and i need to go one two three spaces back and this one is now locked i mean i knew that i saw it that's why i didn't put the robot over here oh boy i need two ones but if i get one gray one if i get this one then i can copy it with this one which is absolutely awesome and then these two guys will stay in place things will happen uh, that are good 
Yes, I got a one, a two, a three, and a five. Okay, so the one goes over here, and this one has to copy any gray one, so it's going to be this one. So that's that. Oh, I completely forgot. Once I have only one left, I will have to mix them all together, not looking what they are, and just form another stack. And now the only thing we can hope for is that we don't pull as the first row one or four. That means that those ships will descend two spa one space down, which means that this one will hit me for sure then, and then this one will be most definitely hit me right, right, right out of the bat. And I kind of misplaced everything for some reason. Wait, let me just quickly prepare everything. Okay, so uh, what are we doing? Who knows? So we put two ones. That's good. That's good. That's good. And now one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I will really need a six on these dice. So I'm gonna need to re-roll some of them. And uh, I'm going to need to re-roll some of them. I will, I will produce three energy this turn. That's terrible. That's really, really terrible. One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah, I can't use these dice. These dice, dice that I got are just awful. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, no. I need six for this space and this space, this space only. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, I can put it in that space. This is just, this is beyond terrible. Beyond terrible. One, two, three, four. But if I put five over here, for example, so then this guy will move one, two, three, four, five spaces down. This is, this is becoming really like a huge, huge puzzle math thingy going on. I don't need fives. I need a six in my life. This is, oh boy, and there's no, no ship even over here. So we can put this dice however we want because there's no ship in this space. So I'm just going to put it like so. And this is one, of course it's one, of course it's one. And I need a six. I mean, I can boost it with this dice, but I had some different plans. I wanted to destroy this guy. I wanted this dice to be either four or, or six. I took a chance and I did my best. So yeah, that is that, uh, the moment of truth, which room gets destroyed, sabotaged. It's a five. So it's this one over here, which is absolutely excellent because there's nothing going on in this row, which is great, which is absolutely great. So these three dice, they are just gone. We don't use them for anything because we don't need them. And then this guy will produce three energy for us, which is absolutely horrendous. And then I have to spend this five, two and two energy to boost this one all the way up to six. No, but I don't need to boost it all the way up to six, but I can't boost any other dice, so it's fine. So I need to boost it all the way up to six so I can destroy this guy over here and then this guy over here is gone. Okay, so I have that much covered and then uh, because I use the six and one energy and they're then gone. And that's that. That's my turn. It was a horrible, horrible turn. Uh, I kind of delayed a little bit my death. So one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, so I, again, I need some ones, number ones on the dice so I can slow down these guys before I can destroy them. Oh man, next turn I spawn two white ships. So this is this is <laughs> getting pretty insane pretty quickly. It is just absolutely insane how overwhelmed I am with these guys. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So this guy goes one, two, three, four, five, six, which is actually good. Which is, oh, I forgot to spawn your ships before I start my turn. So these two guys go over here. This is actually good. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I think I have a good thing going on. So I'm going to put this six over here. One, two, three, four, five, six spaces down. And then I'm going to put this 
excavate guy. No, I'm gonna put this three over here. So that's nine. Even if it's minus two, that's that's nine minus two is seven. It's still six. So it's still doable. It's still doable. So this guy goes one, two, three spaces down. And this guy, one, two, three, four, five. I need a five for him. If I could only get five. Yeah, so we need to reroll. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm gonna put this six here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm going to reroll this dice, hoping for a five or a two, five or a two. Of course, I get a one. Which is actually good, which is actually pretty good, because it's not good. I don't like that it's like that. So this guy, I can't stop him. I can't stop, oh, I don't have AA gun to stop him. So this guy is most definitely hitting my city, which is absolutely insane. I was not prepared for this at all. So... What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this one over here and then I'm going to wait but I can copy a level 3 so I can maybe destroy it I'm going to produce 2 energy only 2 energy this turn if I don't do yeah okay so I need to put this one over here so this guy moves one space and then I will just copy this six and do it like so for a very stupid reason. So this guy hits my city. Oh boy. I know it's just two damage by now, but it, this is getting really hard. You see how they are attacking me left and right. This is just insane. Okay. So we need to play that these dice in a very specific order. So first of all, I need to produce two energy. So I produce two energy. Now I will spend these two energies for this six to convert this one to six. So now it's a six and uh, I have one left. So I will, oh, I forgot. So one, two, three, this one is damaged. So this is actually a five, which means I transferred everything. So this dice is gone. And then I will produce with this dice four energy. That's what I need right now. And then I will spend one energy to excavate all the way up here. And then I will destroy all the ships with the two energy and the level level seven damage. So this guy is gone, this guy is gone, and this guy is gone. Okay, I managed to kind of chase them away a little bit. But still, I wish I had one energy to do some research because I am going to be pushed in few turns I'm going to be pushed back so I need to accommodate for that and this is going to be a pretty long game I guess okay so it's a mothership phase mothership goes one space down and mothership spawns two white ships which is absolutely insane but I have only room for one so I presume that this one will just hang here and wait for, for his turn to be placed so yeah now it's my turn uh, when spawning ships, I can like do. Do I want to use this guy? No, I still don't want to use this guy. I'm still going to try and see if I can do something of a good. Because now I have unlocked some really nice rooms, and I believe that I can do some really nice research this turn. So, one, two, three, four, five. See, I, I can't put a six over here in this room. That would be not, no good. No go. But I need to produce a robot. One, two, three, four. So, a robot level four. Is that any good for me? One energy, then I produce level four robot. And I still want to kill these guys. I still want to try to kill this guy. Okay, so I'm going to put the four over here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. See? Really nice. Then I'm going to put a one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's cool. I'm okay with a six over here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And I will need more energy. I will need more energy 
next turn this turn to do all this oh this one produces energy for me well that is cool but i need to reroll my dice first oh man <laughs> do you see how this dice is standing it's like on a, on a jesus how that happened is beyond me okay a four and a one one two three four four and a one so if i take this one and put it somewhere like here and then mothership will descend one space but i will not lose on any research but losing one research is really not that bad oh boy there is a lot going on here right now so let's just put that one over here no that's stupid place to put it so i'm just gonna put it over here so he does not move and then i will re-roll this one and i get a two two is a good number but not not what i was hoping for it was definitely not what i was hoping for so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this number two in this space over here for whatever reason this guy goes too but since the mothership covered this space so the blinking is now not working and then i will just put this four i will copy this four so one two three four slide okay we have dice set let's see number one so this is a minus one this is a robot level three which is absolutely horrendous i really don't want to spend energy on stuff like that so i'm going to just use this robot to produce one energy and then i'm going to produce four more energy with this dice so it's a six and uh, i am going to i am going to spend one energy to kill everything level six which is this one is gone which is pretty good pretty good so far so good and then this dice does nothing and this also does nothing and i'm going to spend two energy to do a research like so level three and then this is two i'm doing this for a reason and do i want to produce a robot a level three do i need a robot level three i mean i mean i can't do a lot of good things with it because this place over here yeah i'm gonna do it you know and it costs me two energy yeah this is a tricky one but let's do it okay so i'm going to produce a robot level three and i'm going to put it down here and then what happens is the mothership moves down one space new ships are spawning all over the place and uh, i'm gonna put this one over here because it has to go over there okay new round new me right let's try and <laughs> and see how this one will go so it might be a loss i think we are preparing for a loss and i'm doing all this for nothing because you will not see this video then if it's a loss one two three four five six so i'm gonna put a six over here one two three four five six spaces down and then i have to re-roll these dice and I get a five and I was really aiming to get a five so I can produce some energy but the question is where I want to produce it or I want to go heavy on research maybe put some robot over here and over there and try to I think I need to try and run for the research oh I had to put myself one space down on research track due to mothership I need to go heavily because I have like one two three I have four turns so i really really need to go heavily on these research thingies and i think that's what i'm going to do i'm going to put a five over here one two three four five spaces down and then i re-roll these two dice a five and a two so a five one two three four five that's not good for me but that's the best i can do right now but I can produce five energy or two energy and we'll put five over here. Oh man, do I want to produce energy or do I want to, what I want to do? 
This is really tricky game. It just started to be a really really tricky game. Four, five. Yeah, this is insane. This is insane, insane, insane. I need a lot of energy, so I'm going to produce five energy. One, two, three, four, five. I wanted to kill this guy so much. And that's why I'm going to copy this five, this gray five, and I'm gonna put it over here. So this guy goes one, two, three, four, five, see? So close to kill them all. And somehow I managed to mess things up. And then these two will go here, so this guy goes one space down. Oh, this guy, one, two, three, four, five. Well, at least this one is getting shut down, which is good. So yeah, that's my dice. Now we flip, and of course it's level four, so this will be a robot level three, which is completely, completely ridiculous. Okay, we produce five energy. We produce robot level 3 and I will move this guy, no, not before using him, wait a second, wait a second, so I will spend 2 energy to move on a track and then this goes as a 1 and then I will produce a robot level 3 and just put it over here and I will spend 1 energy to destroy all the ships that are on level 5. That's not a lot, but it's something. And then I will spend two energy to produce a research. Uh, this six and three is nine and it's plus two, so it's 11. So it's three, two is five, five is 10. Oh, I miss only one. If this was a four, I could go all the way up here. So I guess this is what I'm going to do this turn. I'm going to try and speed run this thing and just let these guys hit me, maybe, I don't know. Oh, and we have only one left, so we need to reshuffle these bad boys. So, shuffle them. I'm not looking, I'm not looking, just so you don't think that I know what is what, because I really don't. So, yeah. Just put them on the stack. And we are ready to go for the next mission. And again, I completely move all of these things. Okay, so yeah, I didn't excavate much over here, but that's fine. I don't think I really need to do that. I just really needed to reach these rooms and create some energy and try to shoot some ship down and see what goes. Okay, so we have a six, four, three, six, five. Yeah, lots of good numbers, good numbers. Oh, I forgot to seed the ships. So this one goes here. And then this guy goes over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, right off the bat, I will put six over here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six spaces down. And oh, I forgot to move mothership <laughs> one space down. I'm completely, I'm completely lost. So the six would be here. And then this guy goes here, this guy goes here, this guy goes here. Because they will move down one space. But uh, then this guy, <coughs> so this guy will not be six he will be five so he ends up here i really want to give them one last shot yeah but this one is going to create some trouble for me this one will hit the city so i can't stop i can't stop everything it's just not doable one two three four five six yeah let's put a four over here and see what can we do with that and this six I just need to produce lots of energy this turn so I don't have to produce it next turn. And I will just put this six over here and then one, two, three, four, this guy hits my city. And I need to reroll this one. It's a five, of course it's a five. Did I move this guy four spaces? Then one, two, three, he goes down four spaces. And uh, this is insane, this is becoming really, really insane I will just put this five over here then this guy hits my city and he's up here in the sky I only have three damage left to receive before I die I will put this four over here so one two three four oh boy this is a tough one <laughs> okay so what we are going to do this turn is 
we are going to spend one energy to destroy all the ships that are currently on the board which is somewhat good but still we did receive a lot of damage this turn and then I'm going to oh I first have to produce six energy and then spend one to do a research level three two and one is three and uh, oh boy this is eight this is ten this is seven four and three it's, it's actually six okay so this was a terrible move most definitely that was a terrible move on my part so yeah well what i can do is uh, create for two energy i can create 10 research which is seven which is three and uh, i think i need to create a better robot needed to create a better robot for this room because this room gives me a plus two so it's a great great room but otherwise it was a mistake so because this is uh, four three this is actually I can move one over here but it produces six so that's nearly not enough okay so the ships now will seed and the mothership moves one space down she moves me one space below which is okay oh I forgot to switch this on a level two and this on a level two which means that I just might cheat a little bit. Did I, did I flip this robot from the last turn? Did, was it four or was it three? I really don't know, but if I cheated, I cheated. I can't I can go back right now and check it. So yeah, my great is, oh, like, oh Jesus. I completely forgot to flip this one. So number two, this was not working properly, but this was a six and all of them were on a five or a four. So I did, kill all of them so this uh, ship was not a six it was a five or something like that so yeah uh, I'm a little bit tired I'm trying I'm, get, I'm messing up because I'm playing this for an hour now I didn't used to play these games for an hour so yeah let's see what can we do with these dice this is going to be a one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I need a six for this space most definitely because I want to spread some of the dice one two three four five okay so i'm gonna put this five over here but that's nearly not enough that's seven and i need like ten so that's really not helping me at all this dice over here it, it does nothing for me one two three four five but if i put it over here and then do this and that oh boy <clears throat> okay i have a lot of things to now to think about what i want to do the thing is what i want to do i want to create 11 and 10 that's not possible right now most definitely not possible i could maybe have 11 over here even if it hits me but i need a six on this space i need a six and i could go two spaces and then i will have one more turn with the mothership and everything i will have one more turn to try and win it so what I need to do is I need to create better robots. I need better robots. So I'm going to put this five over here. And I need to produce lots of energy. That means I will not be able to hit any ships. Oh man, this is so close. This is so close. You know what I'm going to do? Just for the fun of it. I'm going to use alien and, and this ship will not spawn. This ship will not spawn this turn he will come up next round so that's what i'm going to do before i start anything i mean the role doesn't matter the thing is i want to activate this space to kill any possible alien ships that attack me and this space is very valuable to me so i'm just gonna put a robot level five over here which doesn't help me much but i can put it over here and then use this one I will use more energy but who cares i will produce more energy i will not produce because oh man all the good places are the man. i really shouldn't should have excavated all the way up here so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to put this three so oh no one two three no no i can't do that okay oh boy 
one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I'm gonna put this five over here. One, two, three, four, five. Just so I can excavate completely entire room because I think it will be of a help this space over here. And then I am going to put this three, this number three dice. I'm going to put it over here to produce some energy for me this turn. No, that's not good. I'm gonna put it over here to produce three energy for me. So, or I could, or I could do some research, or I could do it like so. So that's one, two, three, and then I can reroll these two dice. And I get a four and a one. Jesus, these are the terrible dice right now. So I will just put this four over here. So one, two, three, four. I will produce four energy. What else can I do? Because I really need a six. I so much need a six to win this game, to try and win this game. It's beyond belief. It's a six. It's a six. I can win this one. I can win this one. Let me show you how one two three four five six and then this guy slides which is terrible thing to do because this is a six or a five either way this guy will blast me for one damage and uh, that's most unfortunate but what else can i do maybe i should have shouldn't have gone for that but yeah okay so the six goes here and then this guy goes choo -choo, bam, and destroys me for one damage and that is that so then I use one energy to oh 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 before I do that which which room is sabotaged so this one is sabotaged which really doesn't matter it's actually just enough for me so this is a six for one energy and I will destroy these two guys and then this guy will activate but because he's minus one and minus one from from the room that's just actually one research that's just what i need over here then i will produce a four energy that puts me on five i didn't produce any robots that's terrible so i will excavate for one energy and then for two energy i can do 10 research and this robot becomes one and 10 is just over here so now mothership goes one space down and she will spawn like crazy she will spawn all four ships and this one over here and now all i need is all i need is love oh my god i can't win i need one more i need to survive this turn and the last turn because i need to create first i need to create better robot for this room and then put a dice because once you put a robot he comes as like exhausted okay so everything goes into these last two turns if i manage to produce a robot level six over here or something like that at least or over here maybe even over here is better and if i manage oh boy okay so this is this is going to be a tough one i'm good and i can only receive two damage so this is not good I need like this like I need like these lower numbers most definitely I need lower numbers but still wow how am I going to be able to survive this is going to be something to talk about so I need a, a really slow really low not slow a low number for this column because this column is really really threatening but the, here I can produce a really great robot okay we'll see what can we do about it so if i put a robot level two like so maybe like this okay so i'm gonna put this two over here to produce two energy so number two goes like so and then if i put one two three four if i put four over here yeah but let's put a four over here i need to produce robot i can't forget that so one two three four and then oh these are all two but actually i need only two over here if i get a six of course which is most unfortunate because this one would be either two or four so yeah i won't put four over here right now i have to i have to get six first so i will not put this two over here 
one, two. Uh, first, I need to figure out where I will put this two over here. So it's one, two, one, two, and then I will reroll these dice. A five, a five. Who needs a five? Then he would move two times. That's not good right now. But what I can do, I can put a five over here to spread some joy. So one, two, three, four, five. And uh, then I can put a three over here. I will have four energy, so that's two, that's four, that's, I need I need one more energy. I need to produce one more energy this turn to be able to activate everything. No, but if I... No, I don't need it. I don't need it. It's cool, it's cool. I don't need all that energy. I just need three energy. I will not be able to activate this, this turn, so that's fine. So what I need is this is a three, and then this this two will go over here. So oh, this is three, one, two, three, and this is two spaces down. And then I can copy either five or a three for this space over here. So this is one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm gonna put it like a three. So I still have a chance of maybe destroying this guy next turn. And uh, oh no, I can put it five like so. And then this guy goes one, two, three, four, and he might just get destroyed if everything goes as planned. We'll see. We'll see. So the room level one. So I will produce a robot one less probably. Oh no. Okay, okay, it's still doable. I can't improve these dice with this dice. That was my intention all along. So that's not good, but we are going to produce lots of energy and I think I think we have this. I think we have this. First of all, this one does nothing, and then this one will spend one energy to boost this all the way up to four. So that's two, because I don't need any more than four. So I still have three, so this will produce five energy for me. And then this one goes, oh, it's plus one, so uh, this will produce six energy for me. And uh, then I will produce six energy, which brings me to max, which is really okay. And then I will spend two energy produce robot level two. Robot level two. Okay, so I'm I have a robot level two that I will install over here, which means that only six in this column had two energy. So which means that this guy okay, so yeah, I destroyed some ships. So this guy is destroyed, this guy is destroyed, this guy is destroyed, and this guy is gone. Okay, so that means with this I spend one energy to destroy all these guys. That means I need a six in this room and I win the game. And I, I, I can't receive two damage, otherwise I am dead. So one, two, uh, three, and that's that because all of them have ships. So they don't, this one doesn't spawn. I don't think he spawns over here. Yeah, he spawns over here. I think he does. Yeah. Oh, no, no. He spawns wherever the last one is. Or is that for the white? I never had a situation where white ship was left and there was no room for the red ones. So I'm just going to go with the rule that the, the ship that's furthest away, the one will spawn behind him. Okay, so... But is it like that? Is it? Okay, so I need to check a rule really quickly. Where is the rule? Okay, it's here. Oh boy, let's see how we spawn the, I never had a situation where the white ship, so spawning ships during the round ships may have been placed in the mother ship, spawn purple ships before white, first choose among drop points in columns with no ships, when every column has a ship, choose the drop point that is furthest from the highest ship in the column. Leave you with multiple options, your choice. If all five drops is full, she does not respawn, will stay on the mothership for the next round. Yeah, basically I did okay. He spawns over here. Okay, so we need dice level six. That's all we need. Dice level six. And we are winning this one. Just a six. 
Yes! Yes, I got level 6. Okay, so, but before I play it, I really want to use some of these dice to a good... So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, anything 5 is okay that we put on the board. 6 will definitely hit us. So, even, even this one, this one needs to be 4 or less. Otherwise, we are gone. So, I'm going to put this five on this space over here so it's one two three four five before anything and i'm going to because i really don't want this guy to hit me i'm going to put this one over here and move him just one space down oh boy but these two these can't these also need to be one so these are these are more dangerous so i'm going to put this one over here so this guy goes one space this guy goes one space down I will even be able to destroy them. Well, that's good. Okay, that's that's nice, that's nice. Okay, so I put a six over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. He hits me for one damage. Oh my, <laughs> this is very exciting. Okay, so this is like super exciting for me. Okay, so this one can't be six. If this one is a six, I have lost. Okay, everything goes into this one roll. Woo! Okay, I saw a six for a second. Okay, so it's a five. I will basically put it anywhere. I really don't care. So, oh yeah, I still have the AA gun, so it's cool. So it's five, so it's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I don't want to put it in an AA gun because if this spot gets activated, they will descend one space and hit me. That means I will die. So I will just put it here. This guy goes one, two, three, four, five. And then I will use this one to copy uh, dice level one and I will put it like so over here so this guy goes one space down and then it's what room will be okay of course this one so if I would put it in an AA gun all ships would descend one space so this guy will go one space down and I will be dead I would be dead but luckily for me I think about it so yeah let's do this so there's really nothing much to do basically i will i will use one energy to destroy all these bastards that are trying to kill me for whatever reason so they are gone and then i will what will i do what will i do then i will spend two energy i will not use these dice they are really of no use to me I will spend two energy so this is uh, six plus two is eight plus two is ten and i will go up here and i win this game i won i can't believe hour and 20 minutes it is hour and five minutes because seven minutes was intro and some rule reading and some three characters and, and we won this one we won i i can i still can't believe i won this one i probably did cheat it on a few places if i'm not mistaken but yeah let's go to the full screen i think i don't have many space i have a computer with so low space that i think the hour and 20 minutes is the most i can get before it gets fully uh full with uh, so i can't put any more videos on it yeah i'm running low on space like super crazy low so yeah that is that that was mission five i I still can't believe I won. I still can't believe I won. This was insane. Some of these rolls were completely insane. But yeah, that is that. That is uh, the mission five. Thank you. Thank you to my patrons. Uh, it's still not too late. We still have few missions to go before this campaign ends. So you can join me on Patreon with other patrons and decide what we are going to play next and enjoy some uh, content uh, before anybody else on my channel gets it and you there's three there's few different tiers you can even have a personal time with me if you want to so we can paint uh, some miniatures together like uh, if you if you want some like i can help you out if you want or maybe i don't know play some games together or something it's really up to you what you want to do i'm up all for all of kind of things and yeah i need to go i'm running long space please do join me next time when we are continuing this and uh, that is that until next time Pause it.